We've lived in Thailand for over 16 months of our lives and eaten so many amazing foods, from the most obscure we could find at a local market to some of the most popular Thai dishes. But there's one meal we've never been able to figure out. We need help. Today we are at the Tah Maharaj here in Bangkok and if you remember just over a year ago we stayed on a boat just over there somewhere on the Chao Phraya River. So you may be wondering what this meal is because we aren't usually the ones that are scared of trying new things. We've tried to eat this meal or have this meal once before but we completely messed it up and we left feeling super embarrassed and hungry. And the reason for this is because most of these places are catered for Thai people and everything is in Thai and we just didn't know what to do and the people working there unfortunately for us didn't speak any English at all. We looked like proper fools. <laughs> It's not necessarily the eating part that's the problem. We're pretty good at that. It's the preparation that we have no idea how to do. Now, of course, this meal is the hugely popular mukata that's served here all over Thailand. We're just waiting for our help, which today comes in the form of our good friends, Flora and Note, who are currently traveling all over Thailand on a road trip on their own YouTube channel. So if you're curious to see what their videos are like, please check them out. Now, lucky for us, Note is actually Thai and he's grown up eating this food and he can read the menus and he can speak to people. <laughs> so which better way to learn it than with him and his lovely wife. All right, let's go and try and find these two now. They've said they're here somewhere. This is the shopping center. Oh, here they are. Hello. <laughs> now we have no idea what kind of place he's going to take us to today. Let's hope it's good. Oh, I love your outfit. Oh. Wow, we kind of like matchy. Oh, oh yay! <laughs> <laughs> this is Flora and I'm Note. Can you move it too? I'm the Thai husband. <laughs> so I the cup. <laughs> Am I excited? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not I thought you were gonna. Oh, okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna be going to eat mukata today, but it's a different kind of mukata. It's a elevated, a little fancier at this place called Pratnakorn Grill. Ready? I'm excited. Yes. And it's, and it's buffet. <laughs> it's all you can eat. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what we like to eat. Is it all you can drink? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> no, it only drinks one drink anyway, so. Yeah. It wouldn't be worth it for me. <laughs> it's only 219 baht per person. That That's is really super good. affordable. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty good. See, one cup of my shoe known. This is one of the nicest Mugata I've been to. Yeah, with this view. Oh, oh, it's hot. This is what I meant when I say elevated mukata. Yeah. Yeah. Usually the pan doesn't look like this. Yeah. Because we tried it once before and we we messed it up so badly. But it was just like a black slate yeah. thing. And we basically just ended up having like dry meat and... But well, you didn't have any meat. <laughs> I didn't have any meat. So basically I had like some fried tofu and that was it. Yeah. And we made a broth that didn't taste of anything oh, really. Oh, it was actually really terrible. So does this one come with a, a broth, the, the, like the hot pot yes. thing? Oh, that is it. That yeah. is it? Yeah. Oh. This way the broth doesn't mix with the grill. Because the oh. traditional one, the grill in the middle, the meat just like slides off. So it's like you got it nice and crispy and then it yeah. becomes soggy. Okay, so what, what happens now? <laughs> we have to go pick our own meat, our own vegetables and extra soup. Okay. For for this grill here. Extra soup. Yeah, because it will evaporate very quickly. Right. The most important part though is the sauces. We gotta okay. get the sauces. I think that's what we messed up last time. I don't think we had any sauces. No. I think we had some butter and that was like what? it. Because it tastes you, we like did, nothing. We didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> yeah, nobody explained anything and it was super overwhelming. Looks like we need to go and get some food. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so good. Okay, so here's the meat section. They have all kinds of meat. Marinated pork, pork belly fat, liver, all kinds of you. Uh, fish, salmon. So there's loads of fish for you. Yay! So Should grab just, as much as you want. Just grab a bit of everything and then get yeah. from there. Mm -hmm. Okay. The trick is don't mix the meat. So okay. one dish for one meat. I don't share. know which one's, which one's which. <laughs> is that? This is pork belly. Huh. This is just pork tender one. How do you know? I can tell. See? See the fat? Would you mix pork and pork or no? 
Uh, they usually come in different marinades. That's why you uh, don't want to mix them. In case you like it, then you know which one to go back right. for. <laughs> the one we went to last time it was more like finely cut meats. There's more in here. Actually, this is really important. Oh, there's a little pig on the door, so you know that it's going to be pork. There's also butter because we need this to uh, grease up the pan before we cook it. Okay. I'll grab this one. Oh, yeah. that, that's the type of meat I was talking about. That's how oh, we got it last time, like yeah. thinly sliced. This is, yeah, this is actually a little bit overwhelming. <laughs> I don't know what I mean, to pick. Definitely go for some prawns. Yeah, everyone wants prawns. Everyone likes prawns. The seafood can go together. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Nam Jim seafood, I mean Nam Jim seafood, <laughs> which is seafood sauce. Nam Jim gel. This is the Isan san yeah. sauce. And this is Nam Jim Mu Gata. Nam Jim gel. <laughs> <laughs> Nam Jim. Nam Jim. Jim. Nam Jim. 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 Okay. Nam Jim. This one, Nam Jim Mokata, which is specifically for Mokata. Okay. I would say this one is the sweetest one. Get a bit of everything. Yeah. This one is a sour one. Get a bit of everything. Yeah, let's get a bit of everything. What's that? Uh, lime juice, in case you want it more sour. Oh, I yeah. usually do the mukata sauce in the big one. I'm gonna let you do it. <laughs> because I use the most of this one. Makes sense. And then the other ones, I use the smaller one. Like if a mukata place looks nice, but the sauce is terrible, no one will go. It's mm. all about the sauce. Ah. Okay. okay. That's good to know. This was the Namjim mukata. Namjim. Namjim mukata. <laughs> I like Nam Jim. <laughs> and if you're wondering why we're laughing about Nam Jim, then just just look it up. We're not going to explain it in this video. <laughs> we're almost there. We have two more things: <laughs> the cheese and drinks. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I have got corn, noodles, eggs, mushrooms, more mushrooms, morning glory, baby corn, two types of corn. So you know it's all corny. Yeah. Good. Can we okay. finally start cooking? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. It's literally gotten dark <laughs> since we started picking food. <laughs> hey, so this is everything we've got. Everyone ready to eat? Yes. Well, we have to cook it first. <laughs> ready to cook? <laughs> ready to cook, yeah. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> Okay, so Note was just saying, you need two pairs of chopsticks because one is for raw meat, one is for cooked meat. I technically, I guess, don't really need to because I don't eat the meat, but regardless, so you don't confuse it, if you do end up eating mukata, use the butt end of the chopsticks for your raw meat and then the regular end for your cooked meat so you don't get confused and end up putting raw meat juices in your mouth. Just to be safe. Top tip. <laughs> okay. Do okay. the honors. start? Yes, please. Okay, first of all, you have to put the butter on the pan. Now, the traditional way you use pork fat, but we're fancy. Oh, smells good. <laughs> it actually does turn this smell really good. <laughs> there you go. And then, put in your meat. These ones? Yeah, you can put both, like, on here, or in there. Oh! Yeah. yeah! Drop them in. Do we cook everything at the same time? Yeah. Okay. In there. Oh, fun! So the fun part is you, like, playing with it. Right. You have to turn it around all the time, making sure it's cooked, and then you flip it. You want to do the honor? Okay. So just use your hand. Yeah. Grab the morning glory. Yeah. And All just, of it. Yeah. Break it. Yeah. <laughs> Break it again. Oh, I'm getting more and glory all over my Dump them in there. Perfect. Very nice. Add the corn in there just to keep the morning glory in the soup. Mushroom, baby corn. So essentially, is that being souped or steamed? No, souped. Soup. Okay. But the thing is, we don't usually drink the soup. <laughs> You, you don't can. eat the soup. Oh, so you just eat the stuff inside the soup. Oh, last time we were eating the soup. I think that's pretty much the only thing that I ate. <laughs> just the soup. <laughs> I mean, you can. The soup will taste good. It didn't taste like anything. It tastes like water with corn inside. <laughs> yeah. But after, after, <laughs> but after night, 
develops, the soup will become more bold. Yeah. Because you will keep adding stuff. Okay. So you want to taste the soup maybe the second half of the Mukata okay. session. Okay. Another top tip. So we're not going to bore you with endless clips of us eating, but we can now proudly say that we've enjoyed proper Mukata in Thailand. And hopefully this has helped you to visit one of these places next time you're here. So the ice cream here is also all we can eat. There's vanilla, chocolate, lemon and coconut, I think. Mm. We um, have one question for you. Seeing as we're going to Chiang Mai next week and you used to live there for quite a long time, do you have one recommendation for the best khao soi restaurant that we can go to? I think it's Khao Soi Mae Sai. I think so too. Khao Soi Mae Sai. And next door to them, there is a really good ice cream shop. Okay. Walking distance, so it's like the perfect little afternoon. Sorted. So for all four of us to eat as much as we wanted, including as much ice cream as we want, although we can't fit that much in, and refillable drinks, it was only 1,104 baht. So that's a Pretty sweet deal. Now, biggest suggestion is definitely bring somebody that knows how to eat mukata or watch this video again and figure out exactly how to do it when you do it yourself because it's so delicious when done right. Now, after Bangkok, we're heading to Chiang Mai, like we said, and then we're going to Laos, Cambodia, and Singapore, and many other countries that we haven't quite finalized yet. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe. Bye.